Hey guys, what's going on? My name's Henry. Welcome back to another HTML tutorial. I'm going to be uh, just making another HTML tutorial, just like I said. So this is what we're basically going to be doing. We're going to be basically making a slide-out menu that can be accessible from the side of your screen and that anyone can really use. Alright, so let's get into it. So as you can see, I've already done a bit of the HTML code. Uh, yeah, so you can just copy that up real quick. So now I'm in the styles, so I'm going to do article for the article that's going to be holding our main content. I'm going to make it, of course, fixed. Then we're going to make the width, oops, width, and then we're going to make it 70%, then make it left, zero, right, zero, top, zero, bottom, zero. So that I'll put it in the right area. Then we're going to do padding, 30 picks, and then 15%. Then, oops, I forgot to do a colon right there. And then, um, we're, for now, we're just going to make the background dash, background color, um, I'll say orange. That sounds like a good color. So then we're going to make the overflow auto, so just automatically overflows. And then Z index is going to be zero. Alright, and then the last thing we're going to do is do transform uh, origin 0, 50%. This is going to make it so it works correctly for us. Alright, so the next thing what we're going to do is we're going to do article colon after and then open up some squiggly brackets. And we're going to do position absolute semicolon, content, so we're just going to have it with no content, so nothing right there, and then left, 100%, top, 0, right, 0, bottom, 0, so that looks good, now we're going to do the navigation for this, so we're going to make it nav, oops, nav, I'm just going to scroll down a bit. So we're going to, of course, make the position fixed once again. Then we're going to make it, uh, we're going to do a little padding, or not padding, just a little spacing. So we're going to do 15M, then top, we're going to set that equal to zero once again. Then bottom, we're going to also set that equal to zero. So, and then I'm just going to make the background dash color orange again. Oops. Background dash color orange. And then, of course, you're going to make a border. So we're going to do border dash right. We're going to make it 40 picks. Oh, and then solid, of course. And then... I'll just continue with the orange theme that's going on right here. And then of course we also gotta make some box shadow to make it look like awesome. So we're gonna do five picks, uh, zero, and then five picks. And then we're just gonna do an RGBA. If you guys have never used this, this is basically a way to do advanced coloring in HTML. So I'm gonna make it zero, 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 and then 0 0.2. So it's this is what's going to make it look great. So then Z index is going to be 1. Oops. 1. Cursor. And then it's going to go to pointer. So it's going to follow our cursor. So then. Then we're going to do nav colon after. Um, close that. We're going to do position absolute. Make the position absolute of course content. Uh, once again, this is not going to have any content. Oops. Content. And then the width is going to be, I keep typing windows, width is going to be zero. And then the height 
is going to be 0. And then right, negative 70 pixels. Yeah, let's scroll down. Top, 50%. Border, dash width, 15 picks, 15 picks. Border, dash style. We're going to make it solid, of course. And then border, dash color. We're just going to make it transparent on all the sides, except for the one where we were going to actually have it. And so that side, we're just going to have orange. All right. Moving on. Now we're going to have nav ul, of course. And we're going to do width. Oops. Width. We're going to make the width, once again, 15m. It's a nice size. Lit list style. Type, none, and then I'm going to make the font dash size 20 pixels. So then let's do some a bit more animations. So we're going to do article, comma, article, colon, after, comma, nav, comma, nav, space, star, that's just kind of a long line, but it's not that complicated. So then we're going to do transition all. Let me get so it transitions everything. So 1,000 milliseconds, and then we're going to transition it with ease. So the next thing we're going to do is nav colon hover. So once it's, oops. When you hover over it, it's going to go left, zero, nav, colon, hover, this, and then article, colon, after. And then what we're going to do with this is we're going to do left, 60%, nav, li. And we're gonna make the color black and then do oops black padding five percent. So then I think I think that's about it. Uh let's look at it. Yeah, I think that's all for the CSS. So I, I've gone that over that really quickly, but I'm just going to make the menu now. So I'm going to do nav, and then I'm going to do ul. So inside this ul, oops, nav ul, I'm going to do li, whoa, 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 li, so I'm just do home and then so I just paste three of these oops four uh so and then I'm gonna change this to like page one and this one to page two with a capital P all right, and then after this nav, what we're going to do is do article. So this is going to be our main article. So inside of this article, I'm just going to open up a paragraph element, and then inside this paragraph element, I'm just going to kind of, you know, mash the keyboard a bit and kind of type a bunch of gibberish that really doesn't make sense, but is great placeholder text because I didn't happen to copy any placeholder text before I did this video, but this is looking pretty great at the moment. So now, if I run this, it should work. I'm crossing my fingers. I really hope this works. If it doesn't, I will check the code, and now it should work.
Perfect. It's working. The only thing is... We made the background color orange. Stupid. Alright, I'm going to make the background color white. That's going to make it look... And, yeah, we kind of have some overflowing text, but that's okay. And this is basically what our thing looks like. Or our slide out. So then in here, instead of this, you would put, uh... You'd maybe put, like, some links. Really, we could put whatever you want. So, this has just been another quick YouTube video that I made on how to make a slide out in HTML. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks so much for watching. And, of course, I will see you guys in the next video.